That's right, children. We are going to praise God. Come on, clap your hands with me. Hop, hop. Now I want you to sing and follow my actions. Are you ready? Here we go. I love Jesus. Boys and girls, welcome to Harvest Kids Online. Time flies. This is the first week of July. Sure, many of you have gone back to school. Remember to put on your mask and wash your hands regularly. And when you go home, the first thing that you must do, greet your parents and your elders at home. And then quickly go and have a shower and keep yourself clean. Amen? Well, Today, we're going to start on a new series and the subject of this series is found in this present. Let me show you. Miracle, like a pleasant surprise, a perfect present. A miracle is a wonderful supernatural event that can happen to us by the power of God. The Bible speaks a lot about such events. Let me share with you three miracles that have happened to me. First miracle. Years ago, I wanted to enroll myself in a Bible school. And then I found out that the fees of the Bible school was amount to 4,500. It was so much and I couldn't afford it. So I prayed to God for a miracle. And you know what happened the next day? Somebody went to the Bible school office and he told the office person, I would like to sponsor someone who will go for a Bible school this year. 
and the person gave him a name list of a Bible school students. And you know what? He looked at all the list and he said, this is the person that I would like to sponsor. Me, Eileen To. Wow, a wonderful supernatural event had happened to me. I was sponsored and I was able to go to the Bible school free for the whole year. Praise the Lord. What is the second miracle I had? I experienced one day, I had a very high fever and I was very, very sick late in the night and I was crying out to God, God, please heal me. And you know what happened the next day when I woke up? The fever was gone. A wonderful supernatural event happened to me by the power of God. The third miracle happened just last month. I had a pain on my feet and the pain was so much that it went all the way up to my leg and I was in pain. And then I went to a Zoom meeting and in that Zoom meeting, a couple asked me, do you need prayer? I said, please pray for me. Pray for my feet to be healed. And you know, when they prayed for me, instantly the pain left me. And then now I can jump, I can dance and have no more pain. A miracle had happened to me. A wonderful supernatural event had happened to me by the power of God. If God can do this for me, God can also do this for you. Amen. Today we want to look at a miracle that Jesus did, which was first recorded in the Bible in John chapter 2. And it's a wedding at Cana. If you've been to a wedding, you know that you'll see this beautiful bride in a white gown and the bridegroom will be handsomely dressed and all those invited guests will be at their best. Now, at this wedding at Cana, Jesus, his mother Mary and his followers were invited and they were there. But there was a problem. Usually at wedding feasts, they serve wine. But at this wedding feast, Guess what? There were more guests than they could serve the wine and the wine ran out and the celebration had to end. Now, Mary knew Jesus and she knew that Jesus could solve any problem. So Mary turned to Jesus and Mary told the servants, do whatever he tells you to do. So the servants went to Jesus. Jesus told the servants, go get six large jars and filled them with water. And so the servants obeyed. Whatever Jesus told them to do, they did. They took six large jars, and these jars were not small little jars. They were large jars that could contain 20 to 30 gallons of water, which is like 75 litres to 113 litres of water. They were huge up to the chest. And the servants took six large jars, filled them with water, just as Jesus told them to do. And so the servants brought the six large jars to Jesus. And Jesus said, go bring them to the master of the feast. So when they came to the master of the feast, they gave the master of the feast some of the water from the jar to drink. When the master of the feast tasted the water, guess what? He called out to the bridegroom and he said, Usually people serve the best wines at the beginning, but you have saved the best wine for the last. Wow! What had happened? The water turned into wine. And that was Jesus' first miracle that was recorded in the Bible. Now we all know children, what is a miracle? A miracle is a wonderful supernatural event that can happen to us by the power of God. And that took place there at the wedding. How did it happen? Let's take a look at our Bible memory verse for today. Those were the words that Mary spoke. She said in John chapter 2 and verse 5, do whatever that He tells you to do. And when our servants obeyed the words of Jesus, a miracle took place. That is exactly what we all need to do if we want a miracle for our lives. Remember the words of Mary. Do whatever that He tells you to do. Remember, do whatever Jesus tells you to do and you can surely expect a miracle in your life. Amen. Children, 
How can we expect a miracle in our life? Be like the servant, obey Jesus. Now, before we obey Jesus, we must learn to listen. And with this, I'm going to play a game with all of you. I'm going to get three different people to speak and you need to listen to their voice. And at the end, one of them is going to speak again and you have to recognize the voice of that person. Hello children, this is Pastor Eileen. I just want to say I miss you so, so, so much. Hello children, this is Pastor Eileen. I just want to say I miss you so, so, so much. Hello children, this is Pastor Eileen and I miss you so, so, so much. That's right, the answer is B and this is my voice. Good job children for listening and recognizing my voice. Now, did you guess correctly? Yes, you are really good at listening and recognizing her voice. Now, there is an animal that is able to recognize its master's voice and it goes... Can you recognize that? Yes, it is a sheep. A sheep has great hearing and it is able to recognize its master's voice. In John chapter 10, verse 27, Jesus said, My sheep hear my voice, I know them, and they follow me. Yes, Jesus is our shepherd, and we are his sheep. We need to hear and recognize the voice of Jesus. Now, when Mary asked the servants to do what Jesus asked them to do, the servants listened and obeyed Jesus and a miracle happened. A wonderful supernatural event happened that day. What about you? Do you need a miracle? Are you expecting a miracle in your life? You need to listen and obey the voice of Jesus. Today, children, if you need a miracle, all we need to do is to listen and obey Jesus and a miracle will happen in our life. Jesus turned water into wine. That was the first miracle that was ever recorded in the Bible. And you know why Jesus was able to turn the water into wine? Because someone was willing to obey and do exactly what he said. How about you today? Are you willing to believe in miracles? I believe. I believe in the miracle working God. I believe He loves me, He cares for me, and He wants to have the supernatural event to happen also in my life. Today, we may be in a Zoom meeting. You may think that, God, you're not with me because I'm not in church anymore. But no, 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 no. God is with you where you are. A miracle can happen to you. Jesus went to a wedding and at the wedding, He performed a miracle. Jesus is able to go to your home, is able to go to your school, is able to be in our nation and He's able to bring a miracle for you. Are you ready to pray? Let's believe. Amen. Let's close our eyes and let's ask God to bring His miracles over our life. Are we ready? Let's pray. Dear God, I believe in miracles. I believe in the miracle working God. I believe in You. I believe You care for us and You love us. So I pray for Your power the supernatural power to come upon our lives. And if there is a need for healing, you will bring healing. If there's a need for our pains to be gone, you will bring away and take away our pains. If there's a need for healing in our nation, God, we believe that you will bring healing to our nation. Jesus, we will do exactly 
what you want us to do. Send us. Send us to be that person, to be the prayer answer to our homes, to our family, to our school, and even to our society. We want to do exactly what you want us to do. And we believe that you are here. A wonderful supernatural event can happen to me by the power of God. And everybody says, Amen. Wow, parents and children, thank you very much for watching our online lesson. Do remember to join us every week at 2 p.m. on our social media. And of course, remember to do the quiz. And if you have any testimonies of miracles that happen to you, you can submit it to us on our social media also. So I'll see you and God bless you.